Hey guys, Money B123 here with you today. I want to give a quick look of uh, Android 4.4.2 KitKat running with TouchWiz today. And so that's going to be what I'm going to do, just kind of give you a, just a brief overview of just some of the few little differences that I've found between 4.3 TouchWiz and 4.4 TouchWiz. There's not a whole lot of differences, but that's what I'm going to do today, just kind of give you a few of those. So first of all, let me go into settings and just show you that this is running on 4.4. Kind of grayed out, so it may be hard to see there, but you can see Android 4.4.2. KitKat Easter Egg. There we go. And just to prove that this is running on TouchWiz, I'll take out my, my S Pen, and you can see it brings up uh, these Samsung apps and make a screenshot. So there you go. You wouldn't have that functionality if there was not TouchWiz built into this. Okay, so I'm running um, the Galaxy Note 2. Mine's the AT&T version, so it's the i317. Now, the official uh, KitKat ROM is not out. The official update is not out from Samsung or AT&T yet. Uh, today is May 13th, and um, from some memos, uh, we're supposedly supposed to have the official update to the AT&T version by the end of May. Of course, I would never hold my breath on any of those promises, um, but we have been seeing it rolling out to other Galaxy Note 2 variants, so probably probably that, that will be good. So um, I am running 4.4.2 KitKat TouchWiz, but this is the, this is the uh, ROM that was made for the international LTE variant, the N7105. The N7100 has been out for a while, but that's just for the 3G version of a Note 2. So we couldn't do anything with that on our AT&T Note 2s. We had to wait for the, the international LTE version to come out. That came out, um, let's see, there was either, I think it was two days ago. And so that's what I'm running today is this Android 4.4.2 KitKat with TouchWiz. Over here on my computer, I want to show you real quick. Um, this guy over here on XDA, I have no idea what all this means. Easy, Dub, Zit, MK4, I have no idea. Um, but he's the one who took that, that international ROM and made it where we could flash it to our phones. And he calls it his Easy Cat. And it, it says beta here, but there's you can see there's 23 pages. And everybody, just one after the other, is saying that it, it works fine. It's, it's a perfect daily driver. And I have no... Uh, no different story to tell. Mine's been running on it for about a day, so I know that's really not long enough to really make a good conclusion. But so far, everything everything works rock solid. Wi-Fi, GPS, um, the battery seems to be about the same to me. Some people say they've noticed it's draining maybe a little bit faster. Um, I haven't. It, it seems to be working just fine to me. Okay, so let me show you some of these differences. And here on the lock screen, here's one difference, is down here at the bottom... There's this camera shortcut. Now, <clears throat> you can go in and put those shortcuts that go right down along the bottom of the screen here and have a camera. You could have done that in 4.3 touch with. So really, this is no different. It just looks a little bit different. And um, I could go in and change those on this and have them down here also. But you can open up directly into your camera. Again, no different functionality there. It just looks a little bit different. Okay, um... Like I said before, there's not really a whole lot of differences to the interface. Um, there's just not. I have, a, I have another Galaxy Note 2 that's still on the official 4.3 update. And I compared these. I went through all the settings, through menus, different stuff. There's just not a whole lot of interface differences between 4.3 TouchWiz and 4.4 TouchWiz. Um, there, there are a few, and that, that's what I want to show you today. So one of the major differences is in the notification bar here. You can see that now the notification bar, where usually this would be a black stripe across the top, is now transparent, where you can see the background through what is the notification bar up there. Now, if I start to slide it down, it does turn black just like that, okay? But otherwise, when you leave it alone, it's transparent, so you can see your background coming through that. And then right here is one of the other differences, is you can see 
that now we have wide icons and numbers and different stuff up here in the notification bar. Um, Samsung stubbornly held on to having that as green. Finally, they've kind of changed that to the way it's supposed to be. So that, that is, that's white now in 4.4 touch whiz. Um, so as I, as I went into the settings and compared between my 4.3 and this 4.4 and, and compare all these different, uh, settings, all the menus here, I just, I couldn't find hardly any differences. So there's nothing really new going on there. Um, overall it's, it's a smoother experience. For instance, whenever I type in the, in the keyboard here. There's no lag. It just it just works. And I don't know when I got into the habit of it, but I got into the habit of whenever I check network to see if network is running, whether through Wi-Fi or through through mobile data. Um, I w I've just Googled Parakeet, and I've done that for years now. But anyways, so everything runs very, very smoothly. Seems to be running great. So one other difference is this, if you put long press, the, the power button, just like you're trying to power it off. And I don't know if this is just because this is part of the international um, menu system uh, for the Note 2, but it has this data network mode where you can disable it very quickly like that. And um, that's definitely going to be something that my wife wants because uh, one of our sons gets her phone a lot and is always downloading games um, through the through the Play Store. Uh, whenever we're not at home and uh, that way she'll be able to disable that very very quickly of course I know you can add tog widget toggles and all that to accomplish the same thing but pretty handy for it to be right there so like I said overall it's a smoother experience I feel like um, everything just seems to be working so that's just a quick look at Android 4.4.2 KitKat with TouchWiz from Samsung. Thanks for watching today.